General Overseer of Voice of Freedom Ministries International, with headquarters in Benin City, Nigeria, a man called and specially anointed to set the captives free. It doesn't matter how long your situation has been. It doesn't matter how long the crisis in your marriage has gone on. I know one thing. You are coming out. Known all over the world as an apostle of deliverance. That which has tormented your family for 40 years. In the name of Jesus. Shall be broken. It broken. Shall be broken. It shall be broken. It broken. In the name of Jesus. Jesus. No. An outstanding teacher and preacher of the world. With deep insight and understanding. The devil will leave you under the anointing, but will return on the foundation of doubt. Spanning over three decades in the deliverance ministry with undeniable testimonies, signs, and wonders following. The author of the bestsellers, Altar vs. Altars. Discover to rediscover. Witchcraft manipulations exposed and the ever popular Lose Him and Let Him Go. His ministry has seen him widely traveled in Africa, Europe, the Middle East, and USA. The Lord say, I will perform what you see. If you see total freedom, say it. If you see that you are going to get married, say it. And now, in the power and might of the Holy Spirit, Let's receive the dynamic ministry of Bishop Abraham Chibundu. I want you to look at somebody by your side and say, Welcome to church. Can you reduce this thing, my friend? Look at another person and say, Welcome to church. I want to introduce you to something this morning that we are going to run through throughout this week. On Thursday night, About 2 30 in the morning, I was listening to a teaching, and my spirit man was quickened. And I was up till four thirty in the morning. And the Lord began to speak to me concerning all this. The Lord began to speak to me concerning the meeting we are going to have beginning from tomorrow. Divine what? Encounter. Divine encounter. And God gave me specific instructions of the things that we're going to do. I try to look up the word encounter in dictionary it simply means to meet with something or somebody, a group of persons, unexpectedly. Or to come upon or contend with something unexpected experience that results into Something that you may not forget all your life. That is encounter. But when it becomes divine, it therefore means coming unexpectedly 
in contact with the divine presence. It therefore means getting into a divine presence or divine power that will transform and change your life forever. And as I went on meditating that morning, early morning of Thursday, I draw up conclusion as I went through the scriptures from Genesis to Revelation. My mind started running through many people's life. I found out everyone that had a divine encounter never remain the same. Then I came up with a conclusion that in seven days situations will change in this house. If you say amen like this, I go back to where I'm coming from. I was still writing by 4.20 in the morning. I had not slept. And the Lord spoke to me specifically. He said, look for people who are ready to compel their destiny to manifest. Because I looked at people that had encounter in the scriptures. They were desperate to make a definite change. Either to stop something or to begin something. Then I said to myself, I'm going to look for willing women and men. People that have come to the point where they know that they know if God don't intervene, there is no solution anywhere. He said, look for them. Assemble them on this altar. Every 12 o'clock in the day and have one hour willing time for they that come to God must believe that God is a rewarder of those who what diligently seek him so there is going to be one hour of an encounter with his presence now, I started, I went into the street, I began to look for people that had the encounter on the altar. My head busted. I said, yes, I've got it. Destiny is not given to you on a platter of gold. Destiny must be compelled to show up. When you look into the scriptures, when the man, the man Adam was created, he was given specific instructions. Have dominion. Rule the earth. Subdue. Ah! The man
man was just coming and he was told to subdue the earth. We have always thought that the man was created and everything was peaceful. No, sir. Satan has already wrought the havoc. The earth was filled with water. There was commotion everywhere. No wonder when he was, if there was nothing to contend with, he wouldn't have told him, subdue the earth. To subdue means to, to have authority and bring a rebellious force to submit. What you were created and packaged for is already settled. But where the problem is, is how to become. That is where our challenge is. How to become. As many as received him to them, as many as received Jesus, to those people, he gave what? John 1 12. He gave what? Power to do what? To become. <laughs> To become. And when Paul was writing to the Romans in chapter 8, I think verse 19, he says, The earnest expectation of the earth waits for the manifestations of what? The sons of God. They are around, but not manifesting. So their generations are waiting for them. Your generation is waiting for your manifestation. When Adam failed to subdue, he lost the kingdom. When Adam failed to subdue, to have dominion, he lost out and God permitted him to lose. Your dream cannot come to pass on a platter of gold. It will take force. It will take certain high level of insistence that what I'm created to be must be. Why? There are forces that will not allow you. There are circumstances that will not allow you. There are situations that will not allow you. There are people that are not going to permit you to be. So you must make your choice. He gave them power. That means every child of God born on into planet earth the moment you are giving you give your life to Christ you are enlisted to exercise power to become to do what? to become what you were created to become you were created to become but it will take you to become. And no one will do it for you. It is your responsibility to become. Then if it is your responsibility to become, I offer you to this morning a recipe to become. 
And that is, if you can get his attention, he will change your situation. Divine encounter means that man has come to a place where he attracted God's attention. In Genesis chapter 15, Abraham had an encounter with God. Please listen to me. There are about 21 to 25 persons, personalities, I'm going to talk about in the scripture throughout the week. I am going to say one thing over and over and over and over until when you are sleeping, you will hear my voice. If you are cooking, you will hear my voice. If you are driving, you will hear my voice. If you are in the toilet, you will hear my voice to say to you, you can become. Witches or no witches? Wizards or no wizards? Your background or no background? You can become. Abraham came. He wants to become. He has been promised. I have now found that until you enforce what was promised to you to show up, you are likely going to sing a song. You will sing about it. You will dream about it. You will talk about it. You will clap about it but you will never experience it.